Capital Peak, a mountain known as one of the most infamous 14ers in Colorado, lies in the Maroon Bell Snowmass Wilderness area about 14 miles west of Aspen. It's a prominent summit in the Elk Mountains range of the Rocky Mountains. Capital Peak has an elevation of 14,137 feet and is considered one of the state's most challenging mountains to climb due to its extreme conditions. The only non-technical route, the northeast ridge, requires crossing the famously exposed Knife Edge, the northeast ridge of Capitol Peak. Fatalities have occurred on this route. Other routes require technical rock climbing. These routes have significant rock fall danger due to a great deal of loose rock. However, the rock is substantially more solid on the more famous maroon bells or unpyramid peak. The Nyep Edge and Capital Peak is perhaps the most famous difficulty on any Colorado 14er. It is about 150 feet in length with 2,000 feet drops on both sides. While not particularly technical, it leaves up to its name. Expect about 20 meters narrow slabs rising from oblivion with hundreds of feet of exposure on either side. It is regarded as the crux of the route due to the exposure. On the 3rd of September 2022, Sarah Elisa Beachler a 34-year-old climber from Denver, Colorado, was attempting the Capital Peak solo. It was her last portiner of the 58 peaks in Colorado over 14,000 feet in elevation. She was incredibly skilled and experienced climber. Sarah was born on the 18th of January 1988 in Cleveland, Ohio to Marty and Kathy. She moved with her family to St. John Virgin Islands in 1998 and grew up there. She came back to the mainland to attend the University of South Carolina and graduated in 2009 with a degree in international business. She had been living in Denver, Colorado since 2011. In September 2022, Sarah was attempting the treacherous capital peak. While traversing the route, she fell to her death about 900 feet into Pier Lake's basins. She fell after a rock she was trying to hold on to suddenly broke off. She was traversing the route that connects the knife's edge to the capital peak summit. The Pitkin County Regional Emergency Dispatch Center received a call just before 8 a.m. from a man who was part of a hiking party that saw the woman fall what he believed was 1,500 to 2,000 feet from below the summit. The caller was able to direct search and rescue to the exact location where Sarah fell, and her body was later recovered. Rescuers estimated she had fallen about 900 feet into Fear Lake's basins from the route that connects the Knife Edge to the Capital Peak Summit. The area is treacherous with loose, rotten terrain that can create unstable and dangerous conditions that can lead to serious injury or death. Sarah's body was airlifted from the area after crews launched a recovery mission with 25 volunteers from Mountain Rescue Aspen, two Pitkin County Sheriff's deputies, and flight crew from Flight for Life Colorado, Montrose Helitech, and EcoFlight. Capital Peak is considered one of the most difficult mountains to climb in Colorado. With precarious obstacles such as loose, crumbling rocks and extreme exposure. 
In 2017, five climbers were killed on the mountain in the span of just six weeks. In 2021, three members of a search and rescue team were hurt in a rock slide on the 14er while trying to recover the body of another hiker who had fallen. That recovery operation ultimately proved too dangerous to carry out and the hiker's body was left on the mountain. Sarah Bichla worked in the travel industry and loved to explore new cultures and countries. Her sense of adventure enabled her to live and teach yoga in both hemispheres, including New Zealand, Australia and the US Virgin Islands. She enjoyed cooking healthy food, time with friends, hiking and camping, open water swimming and horseback riding. She was passionate about preserving our planet and making environmentally responsible choices. Sarah began her yoga practice in 2005. She was a certified yoga teacher. She was a force of a woman who was driven by the excitement of adventure and the satisfaction of a view framed by miles upon miles of dramatic terrain and mountain peaks. She had climbed 57 out of 58 14,000 feet mountain peaks in Colorado. She was incredibly skilled and experienced as a climber and always approached those climbs with caution and readiness. Capital Peak is a class 4 trail, emphasized by extreme conditions, and she was close to the summit when a rock hand hold she attempted to grab gave way and fell 900 feet. Sarah was a strong, cautious, and avid hiker who checked in constantly with her friends and family to let them know where she was. But the mountains wanted her to stay behind for her last trip. These hikes were a spiritual journey to better get to know herself and the challenges she faced, and the time she had by herself to mediate over self-reflection. She once told a friend that on these trips she would listen to music and podcast, but mostly just reflected on life and felt immensely grateful to be so immersed in the beauty and wild, untouched landscape surrounding her. Her desire for adventure led her to leap all over the world, guiding volcano tours in Nicaragua, practicing yoga in New Zealand, backpacking in Costa Rica and Panama, and her next trip was going to be to Bali with a good friend. She prided herself in being fluent in Spanish, which allowed her to become immersed in the culture of South America. In addition to the mountains, she had a strong connection to the ocean and more specifically St. John in the US Virgin Islands where she grew up. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel for more such content to come in the future.